was Alex. He better recognise me, otherwise I'll kill him. Alex, you're, he's, he's, he's on a cruiser. He's, he's a really funny guy. He's a photographer as well. He's an up-and-coming photographer. I'm going to give him a shameless plug. Now, Alex is an up-and-coming photographer interested in portraits, motorcycles, and event photography. His father, I believe it's either his father or his grandfather, was a photographer, had very expensive gear, and it's the, it's the type of photography gear that sort of you carry in suitcases because it's that expensive. And his photography is of the magical kind. It's his highly contrasted, bright, vibrant colours, and his posings of the models are quite good as well. Recently did a photo shoot with a Heather Benier, and they had a fairy, a fairy theme, which fitted fantastically with the skill that he has, it was with the style of his photography. Well, not necessarily the style, but probably the editing style, or the technique that he uses. Um, if I can do, if YouTube will let me, I may do a link to his photography Facebook. He... yes, this is pretty much... and he's a very nice guy as well. He's a very, very interesting guy. Very nice guy. He's quite fun-loving. He's a very tall person, very... quite well-built, and you'd, you'd think he's quite scary if you looked at him. But no, he's quite... he's a bit of a puppy. He's a puppy, Alex. He's a big... he's a big puppy. Yes, big puppy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that voice. I think that's my that's my critique voice. That's my analytical voice. Oh, there's a cat in the back of that car. A cat? When do you ever see a cat in the back of a car? Dogs? Yes, that's acceptable. But a cat? <laughs> why? The cat's just like oh, I snuck in here and he won't let me out. I wonder if he actually knows the cat's in there. Nine minutes past eleven. We're doing well. We're doing very well. I'm not even speeding. <laughs> so yeah, Alex is a nice guy. Photography's quite good. He's, he was with me when we did the uh, the leak photo shoot. But you guys haven't seen the pictures, have you? <gasps> Ooh, I better put those up. God, I'm running out of time. We've got another bloody wedding this week. Got catching up with work because I was obviously away for a while. Obviously, I keep saying obviously again. Stop saying obviously. I feel like the Grinch whenever I say that. Whenever I do that little moody thing. I'm going to go right, and I don't care what this roundabout says. Yeah, you're doing the same thing. Or not? I didn't do something bad. This is all new. This is all new road. All this stuff. I've been down here before. This isn't like brand new to me. I have been down here before. But it is new. They um, extended the runway and they had to build a whole new road around the back of the airport. So it used to go around sort of to the left and round that way because the runway used to be shorter. It used to go by the church and through sort of a country lane sort of thing. But they had to build this thing. And what's it called? EasyJet. EasyJet runs from here. Apparently they'll be doing flights from to the Isle of Man. Which means that I'll be hopefully taking advantage of that very soon. When the next TT goes on. Although I'd rather take my bike, to be honest. Well, I guess we'll have to... We'll have to see how that goes, because I can't really take the bike on the plane. And it's a bit of a bastard. I mean, you have to ride all the way to the other side of the country to go to the TT to watch other people ride their bikes. I want to ride my bike! And I don't think it would survive very well on the TT track. Oh, sorry, I just burped. Oh, right into you. Oh. I'm not going to sit so close to the tank anymore. I'm just not going to do it. Although if I sit back, my asshole gets vibrated. Ugh, I don't like it. Diggity diggity. I did that. I'm not Quagmire. So yeah, this is the airport coming up here. On the left here is where the South End Air Cadets normally are. This is the old building. The old building of the airport. It's very old, because it's an old building. They don't really use it for much. Apparently it's just there to entertain the old women. This is the new hotel. So if you ever want to stay in South End, then here you are. Brand new accommodation. Fantastic. And if you're peckish, McDonald's! 
right outside the hotel. If you don't like hotel food. Have you got easy jet planes? I didn't realise that, you know, easy jet planes, why are you parked there? Double yellows. Right on a fucking corner, you fucking prick. Sorry, that was a bit harsh. But I could have lost my legs. So this is the new terminal. Isn't it pretty? Very, very, very quick. People get through very quick. You know, they turn up, they throw the bags, they just literally throw the bags through the door. There's not much room between the door and the checking desk. They just throw the bags in, they land on the checking desk, go to the plane, that's it. They might even have a very, very quick conversation with the with the clerk who's quite attractive and just go, Oh, hello, I'm going on holiday. Oh, thank you. And they're in the plane. That's it. Done. Sorted. Uh.